There are some musicians whose legacy lives far longer than the time they spent carving it on this earth. And the legendary Randy Rhodes is definitely one of them. Randy Rhodes is a big part of my life. And he still is. So, so you know the drill. As always in the series, let's take a look at some of the isolated guitar parts for Randy Rhodes and just remind ourselves how good of a guitar player Randy actually was. Here you go. <laughs> Randy started playing guitar when he was still a little kid. In fact, by the time when he was 15, he was able to develop his own musical style so recognizable that even now, 50 years later, you can unmistakably say who plays this solo without even knowing the author. Yet, even though Randy, of course, was extremely talented, this mastery didn't necessarily come to him easily. As when Randy was still a schoolboy, he used to practice guitar for so many hours daily that there is even a legend that his mother once took him to see a physician to see if all that guitar playing would not cause a permanent damage to his fingers. <laughs> Although, to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure that this story is actually true, given the fact that his mother, just like the rest of his family, was actually no stranger to the music world, as she, in fact, graduated from UCLA with a degree in music and has played piano professionally. He grew up in my school, my music school. And he was very influenced that way. And if we're being very honest, in fact, it was actually at least partially thanks to her that he started playing guitar at the age of seven and got a deep understanding of music theory, which he has used later on throughout his career, although he did occasionally say that he got no musical education. I studied cello, violin, flute, saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. No. What? No, I haven't had much. And I actually believe it is this combination of a classical musical education with his passion for rock and roll and heavy metal which has helped Randy to introduce a much more complex musical scales and guitar playing techniques into the world of heavy metal, eventually making him one of the greatest heavy metal guitarists to ever walk the earth and receive the status only during such short period of time on this earth. He needed that. He, you need tools and you need to know the right way. 
uh, otherwise it's like going in the back door. By the way, by the late 70s and the early 80s, most musical critics and fans themselves of course started comparing Randy Rose to his contemporary, another legendary guitarist, A.D. Van Halen. <laughs> A comparison which eventually has grown into a humorous rivalry between the two guitarists. I would take a picture of Eddie Van Halen and put it on his wah wah pedal. Every time he stomped on his wah wah pedal, he stomped on it as if he wanted to crush it. And while I, of course, understand where that comparison comes from, I simply have to say this. Not even once in my life I've heard a guitar passage that I didn't know the author and thought to myself, oh, this definitely sounds like Eddie Van Halen or Randy Rhodes. Seriously. Not even once. Everything you did, you learned from me. <laughs> but anyways, one thing is absolutely clear. Randy Rhodes is a legend. A legend who unfortunately left this world way too soon, although did leave for us some of the most memorable guitar riffs and guitar solos in the world of heavy metal. But who knows, maybe Ozzy Osbourne will have for us some surprises in the future and incorporate some of the unreleased guitar riffs recorded by the legendary Randy Rhodes while he was still with us. <laughs> Wow, I've never heard that. But what do you guys personally think about Randy Rhodes and which is your personal favorite guitar part by Randy, either with Quiet Riot or with Ozzy Osbourne? Please let us know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching this short video, guys. And just a reminder that the war in my country is still going on and there are people dying here every day. So continue supporting Ukraine in any way you possibly can. And as some of you guys might know, I, together with several other metalheads, recently launched Steel Wings, an official charitable foundation in support of Ukraine, with the goal to quickly help out our boys and girls on the front lines to kick out all of the invaders so we can have a massive metal party in Kiev after our victory. So if you guys were looking for an official foundation to support, please check it out at steelwings.net. Thank you so much guys and we will prevail. Slava Ukraini!